Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. It's been a really long time since I created one. I apologize for that. Um, but today we're going to be looking at something new. By the way, my name is Kalichi Augustin Okori and I am a ambassador. And today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, something new in Canva, something I just discovered and maybe a few persons might know about it. Um, but I guess not everybody might have that information. So this particular tutorial is not going to take up to five minutes. Okay, it's going to be really fast and short, and I hope you can learn something and use it in your design. So without wasting much time, I would go over to create a design, and I'm going to be using um, Instagram posts. For this Instagram post square 1080 by 1080. I'm going to click on this and we are going to wait for the page to load. And here is it. We have our canvas here. Now, what do I want to show you today? I want to show you um a simple like just one thing. Now, if you go back to elements, come over to this part. You're going to see we have frames and then we also have grids. So if I click on this, okay, if I click on this, notice something. Before now, you cannot adjust frames. Before now, you cannot adjust frames in Canva. Okay, you can only increase it from this side, okay, from this point, from this point, just like we had shaped. Just like we had um, this shapes, let me just add a new page. This particular shapes, there are some shapes that you can only adjust it from this angle. No, not this one. Sorry, you can only adjust it from this angle, this angle, this angle. Okay, you cannot bring it down like this. The same thing applies to frames. Same thing applied to frames. Now, even grids. Okay, you can only um, do that for grids. Okay, you can only bring grids like this. This way. I think that's why most people prefer using grids because the frames did not have this option where you can adjust it from all sides. Like this point here was not available for frames. One, two, three, four. You only get to see um, one, two, three and four i hope you're following me if you're confused just um ask question now before now before now you cannot wow this is really amazing i don't think um canva took away some of the frames okay so this is what i'm trying to show you today and now you can adjust frames from this angle, this angle, this angle. It's not just limited to one, two, three, and four. Now you can adjust it and take it, place it any way you like. And this does not just apply to um, a squared frame before. Now for grids, like I said, you can adjust for grids before. But you know, grid is limited to just um, this kind of shapes. There's no circular grid. Even though people would have used that option a long time ago, there's no um, triangular grid. Just this option. So that is why this is a really huge one. That and I feel most people will get to use this a lot. You can also adjust this. See, wow, wow, this is nice. So you can adjust any of these frames, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know about the others. Or oh, you can even adjust this. Kudos to Canva, kudos to Canva. Canva keeps blowing our mind. Like I said, this will not take um, up to five minutes. So hopefully I don't exceed that time. So you can adjust it anywhere you like. Now let's try an experiment. I'm going over to photos and just drag let's say i want to drag this see it's nice and beautiful now this is, this looks like um this it's now acting like grid like it's the same 
um, the same feeling you get when you use grids, but only that now we have um, circular options, you have triangular options, you have a whole lot of those options, and you can just drag your image and drop it inside. So this is really a good one, and we have Canva to thank for that. So go ahead and play around with this, play around with these frames, and just make your designs pop out the more. My name is Kalechi Augustine Okori, and I hope you find this. See, it's great. It's not just shapes. You can use this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Canva, thank you so much for giving us this. And wow, you can also apply borders to it and change the border color. This is really 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 awesome and great and i hope i guess most people that will not stay till the end will miss this the one i just added now they're gonna miss this but if you stay to the end kudos to you you just learned something new and i hope you get to um, incorporate this into your design and just create something beautiful okay so bye bye for now and see you guys in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are viewing this from youtube